Now, today's topic is, do you need to change Medicare plans when you move? We got a lot of people ask us about that. Maybe they have a move in, in the store in the future after retirement, or they're just considering what will happen. And so let's address that. And really the answer to the question is, it really just depends on the type of insurance that you have. Welcome to Medicare School Daily, where we help you understand Medicare, save money, avoid making mistakes, and above all else, get the most out of your Medicare benefits. All right, so there's four different types of insurance possibilities. Number one, uh, in order to be enrolled really in any uh, Medicare plan, whether that's a drug plan or a supplemental plan or a prescription, a drug plan or an Advantage plan, you are going to have to have Medicare A and B. Obviously, that's what begins our relationship with Medicare is getting enrolled in A and B. And so the way it works with A and B is you don't have to change anything other than you want to be sure to update your address with them. And that's it. Uh, A and B is for life. And so uh, if you're um, enrolled in A and B, they'll never cancel that unless you stop paying your Part B premiums. And so you just want to be sure to update the address. It's very simple to do that. You can actually call a local Social Security office between 9 and 4 and let them know that you have relocated. All right, so that's that number two. Now, uh, most people don't have A and B only. They're going to get other insurance products. So uh, some people are, are uh, electing to go with supplemental plans. These are the plans that have letters to them, an F plan or a G plan or an N plan are the most common plans uh, right now. Uh, now, in, 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 in moves, what do you have to do with them? Well, I want you to realize that the supplemental plans are really like A and B in that they are totally portable, meaning uh, they are written for life. An insurance company uh, that uh, issues the supplemental plan can never cancel your policy unless you fail to pay the premium. Uh, so your relocation will not cause them to cancel it. Uh, if you have a lot of claims, they can't cancel it. They can't cancel because of age, only because of non-payment of premium. So it is written for life. It's a portable policy. So regardless of where you move to, anywhere in the 50 states or U.S. territories, you can take that policy with you. It's portable. Now, they can and sometimes will re-rate that. In other words, if let's say you're moving from one state to another and uh, the average health care costs are higher in the state that you're moving to, then you may see that supplemental plan go up a little bit. Honestly, I've had plenty of people move, thousands and thousands of them move, and uh, it's usually never a big issue. You, but they do have the right to re-rate you based upon what normal and customary Medicare rates are in the state that you're moving to. All right, so that can happen and will happen sometimes. And then you also need to be sure you update your address with them. So once you know that you're going to be moving, that that's a, is a firm move, then you can let them know you're moving and uh, you want to update the address so they have the proper mailing address, but also do not forget to update your bank records. If you keep the same bank account, obviously uh, you don't have to update, but if you uh, relocate and you're going to set up a new bank account and you're going to use that new bank account to pay your supplemental premiums, you want to be sure to update that address in advance. Let them know that you're moving and when they need to start drafting on that new bank account. Because remember, if they go to, to um, uh, draft that account and the money's not there because you close that account out, you only have 30 days of grace to bring that policy current. And so I've had people uh, lose their policies because of that. And we don't want that to happen because if they cancel a policy, the only way you can get it back is go through underwriting. And if your health has changed, you may not be able to do that. All right, so be sure just simply to update the address and banking information. Now, anyone who has a supplemental plan is probably 95, 97% of the time, they're going to need a prescription drug plan. Now, drug plans are not portable. And the reason for that is because a drug plan, your Part D plan, is actually tied to a service area. Now, service areas sometimes are just simply a, a large metropolitan city. Uh, sometimes they're counties, but you have a service area that that drug plan was offered in. And then when you relocate, you're probably going to relocate to a different service area. That means you're moving beyond the service area. You cannot take your drug plan with you. Now, the drug plan you're on may be available in that new service area, but we have to find out. And so if you're our client, this is something we absolutely will, will help you with. You just have to let us know your new address, and then we'll uh, run the drug plans in your area um, and uh, make sure that you are going to be uh, relocating and you're going to be on the right drug plan in that new service area. So you cannot take drug plans with you. Uh, you you will have to have a new one. Now, not a big deal because they allow you to do this. They call this a special enrollment period. There's this special time you can do it. It's called a mover. And we have a code that we use when we uh, let Medicare know you're going to cancel one drug plan and pick up another one. And so um, uh, uh, what, what has to happen during this um, uh, SEP code is certain timing. And what that means is uh, once we have a, a new physical address at your new location, 30 days before your move or 60 days after the move, you actually have this window where you can change your drug plan. They 
will allow you to do that. Now, you can't change it six months later. Uh, you'll get it probably, it'll be canceled uh, because of relocation. Uh, so you want to be sure to do this again 30 days before you move up to 60 days after, no problem whatsoever using the, uh, the mover code. All right, so that's what's going to happen if you're going to have those three plans. Then some of you are going to be covered by Advantage plans, meaning you didn't go with a supplemental plan and a drug plan. You have an Advantage plan. And so Advantage plans are called C plans. And so they're very similar to drug plans in that they are tied to a service area. Again, multiple counties, maybe a metro city. And uh, so your, your uh, Advantage plan may or may not be available wherever you're going to move. You have to find the best one. And again, you work with us. We help you do all this because we want to make sure that, you know, your, your new doctors are going to be in the network and that you're getting on a plan that still you're comfortable with the co-pays and the max out of pocket. And so that service area switch uh, is going to require a new plan. And again, just like uh, the drug plan, there's a code for this called the mover code, MOV we use on the application. So they will let you do this. It's no problem. Now, the plan that you're on now may be in that area, but but even if it is because you're changing service areas, uh, we have to rewrite a plan. Even if it's the very same plan, it's got to be rewritten in that service area because there's a different policy number attached to that. And again, the timing is very important. 30 days before you move, within 60 days after you've moved. Uh, once we have that address, then we can begin to set those things up for you as well. All right. So that's what you'll need to do if you are going to move. And uh, this is what change will be necessary uh, for your Medicare plans. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. And I do hope that it was helpful. Now, if you feel like you need to learn more about Medicare to make sure you're making the right Medicare decision, really the best way and the easiest way to do that is to go to MedicareSchool.com. That's MedicareSchool.com. And you'll be given the opportunity to click on uh, Get the Free Workshop. We call that the Essentials Workshop. And I do all the teaching. And there you'll learn all the ins and outs of Medicare to make sure that you have an accurate and thorough understanding of how Medicare works. The second thing you can do is click where it says Talk to a Medicare Guide. And there you can actually set up a time where you can discuss your situation with the Medicare guy. They'll explain all your options and they'll actually even walk you through the enrollment process as well if that's what you need to do. And so go to MedicareSchool.com, uh, watch the workshop or talk to a Medicare guide. It would be our privilege to assist you further.